this is the first time I wear pants in four months. I just dropped off my mom dito sa Madrigal Business Park. And today, let's do a Q&A. Great. Uh, first question, this is from Jero. Ano pong book yung may recommend nyo para sa mga young adult? So, I've uh, answered this question parang several times na for my past videos. Pero for the sake of the new subscribers, so ito yung sagot ko dito. So, unang book ko dito na may recommend is Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. So, ito para sa money mindset and entrepreneurial mindset. Second book na may recommend ko is yung um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So, yung book na yun parang, uh, parang it tells the story of yung mga past na mga business titan so it gives you parang an idea about success tapos naman third book ko is uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie so ito simple lang din yung parang concept ng book na yun so parang uh, nire-refresh na lang sa'yo how to treat other people kasi parang as you grow old parang pag nagiging ano, adult ka na nakalimutan mo na how to treat other people kung paano mo sila itrato ng maayos so I think uh, that's a good book para sa human relations so yun that's my three books na may recommend ko for parang young adults Second question is from Judah Rivera. So, yung question niya is, money tips for young teens like me, Kuya. So, yung unang tip ko dito for money is, just save as much money as you can from your allowances and spend yung money mo on experiences and wag sa mga material stops masyado. Tapos, siguro na lang additional, teens for, uh, additional tips for young teens para sa self-development nila is, uh, learn more about yourself. Tapos, um, yun, focus ka sa experience. Hanapin mo yung strengths mo and your weaknesses. Tapos, i-develop mo yung mga uh, skills mo that you're passionate about. For example, sa akin, um, medyo late ko na kasi na nalaman yung passion ko for uh, video making and storytelling. So, 22 years old na ako nun. So, pag-graduate na ako nung discover ko tong passion ko na to. Tapos, syempre, it's a transitional stage para sa akin. So, I have to work to make money. Pero at the same time, parang gusto ko pang ihon yung skill ko dun sa, sa pagkawa ng videos and sa pag-tell ng story. So, yun. Medyo nahirapan ako i-balance yun at first. So, yun. I, I think na mas maganda sana na malaman nyo yun sa inyo ng mas maaga. So, yung second question niya is, ah, uh, and extra income tips rin hey, by the way I'm 17 years old so para extra income tips for teens siguro uh, kwento ko muna yung story ko I was 19 yung nagstart kami nung t-shirt selling business namin sa college so that's one idea sa inyo t-shirt selling sa school tapos uh, siguro uh, content creation that's one thing na popular ngayon for teens uh, pwedeng to through this mga vlogs so mga video so vlog written tapos podcast pagka audio or kaya naman pwede din naman ang um, pinaka generic na at tip ko is find a skill na kaya mong ibenta for example um, um, marunong ka mag video edit marunong ka mag take ng photos so photography or kaya naman marunong ka mag layout or mag design so businesses are usually willing to pay for that kind of skill so Pwede din yun if you have those skills. Tapos, uh, pwede din naman na mag-reselling ka. So, find a subculture na you're familiar with. For example, ko dito lagi yung brother ko. Yung brother ko, uh, medyo familiar siya sa sneaker culture. So, alam niya yung uh, stock ng sapatos. Yung mga types sa sapatos na malaki yung value, yung resell value. So, yun. O kaya naman, if mahilig ka sa fashion, pwede din mag trip selling ka. So, find uh, clothes. Tapos, i-benta mo siya na mas mahal. So, yun. Pwede din yun. For college naman, um, pwede ka mag-apply as a student assistant pag college ka na. Or kaya naman, just type sa YouTube mga online jobs. So, yun. Makikita mo doon maraming mga uh, niche doon na mga online jobs. So, baka pwede din sa inyo yun. So, just find uh, parang extra income na mga jobs that fits in your lifestyle. So, for the next question, this is from Regina. So, yung una niyang tanong dito is, do you invest in cryptocurrency? So, no, pero interested ako. Pero gusto ko lang muna sabihin yung why ko, why, not, why I'm not investing in cryptocurrency kahit hindi niya natin nalang. So, yung, yung reason ko lang dito is because I don't have enough capital to diversify pa. Uh, I'm invested sa Philippine Stocks Exchange, sa business ng friend ko, and dito sa pag, uh, pagawa ko ng content. So, yung mga gears na ginagamit ko. So, I don't have extra money na to diversify into cryptocurrency. So, yun lang naman yung reason ko. Then, yung follow question niya dito is if no then do you find it interesting not necessarily yung cryptocurrency but yung technology behind it which is yung blockchain so it's like a digital ledger or yung ledger na hindi na babago so parang through technology siya google nyo na lang yung uh, pinaka definition ng uh, blockchain so para sa akin kasi i'm more interested to an efficient currency if yun yung parang purpose ng cryptocurrency then that's good so define ko na lang sa inyo yung uh, yung definition ko ng efficient currency Imagine yung currency na yung bills natin, yung coins natin. 
instead na ginagamit natin yung materials, yung mga metals para sa coins, yung special paper para sa bills. Kung meron tayong mas efficient at digital currency, di ba? Parang yung mga materials na gagamitin natin for our coins and bills, mas magagamit na sana natin ito much more useful na mga bagay. Tapos imagine uh, a currency na hindi nagagawa ng fake money. Kasi yan nangyayari, if sobrang daming fake money sa circulation, bumababa yung value ng currency mo. So yun, malaking tulong sana yun if hindi nagagawa ng fake money yung currency mo. Tapos imagine a currency na hindi nagbabago masyado yung value. So yung inflation niya parang sobrang stable. So imagine yung nabibili ng, ng uh, money mo. A decade ago, nabibili niya pa rin hanggang ngayon. Last point that I wanted to make dito is imagine a currency na ginagamit sa buong mundo na accessible para sa lahat. Kasi kung titignan mo yung currency natin, yung Philippine peso natin, it's a weak currency so sa palitan para ang hina niya and para nasa disadvantage tayo. And kung meron sanang universal currency na accessible para sa lahat, di ba? Para mas, mas, uh, mas, mas even yung playing field, di ba? So yun lang, yung next question sasagutin ko sa bahay. So yung question na, next question niya kasi is how do you build yung parang travel fund ko? So I'll explain it at home kasi nandun yung sagot sa bahay. Alright. Okay, so ito yung original question ni Regina about dun sa travel fund. Are you currently building up your travel fund? So actually, na-build ko na yung travel fund ko a year ago. Kaya lang, I decided to invest it sa business ng friend ko kasi ayokong tumenga muna sa akin yung money kasi hindi pa naman ako mag-travel at that time. So, yung business ng friend ko kasi yun nga lang uh, it's uh, salon and spa tapos ngayon nasa milky siya tapos meron silang medical equipments na business so dahil nga sa pandemic uh, there was bad yung salon and spa was badly hit ayaw ko kung operating na sila ngayon ngayon uh, UCQ na pero yun nga uh, dahil doon uh, to dapat yung may receive kong money to, uh, this month this blur ang nakalagay dyan is 82,500 if I'm not mistaken So yun, so originally yung initial investment ko sa kanya was 75,000 that was supposed to be yung travel fund ko for Japan. Uh, kaya nga lang yun, we have to renegotiate things kasi wala eh. I mean, lahat tayo mag-adjust talaga dahil sa pandemic. So kahit ako, I'm hit by the pandemic. So ayun, uh, that's my travel fund. Yung follow-up question that is, if yes, how? You know, Iceland and Japan. Dreams mo po kuya. Oh yeah, ayun, totoo yan. Uh, Iceland and Japan is my uh, dream destination. Add nyo na dyan yung Switzerland. So, how did I build it? Sigur siguro yung majority doon was from doon sa commission ko when I was in the uh, insurance industry. So, as an insurance advisor. So, ka karamihan nung ipon ko doon ng galing. Then, mga racket-racket ko as an assistant sa mga kaibigan ko. Uh, may kaibigan ako na nag-work sa real estate and nag-work ako as an assistant sa kanya. So, binabayadan niya din ako noon. Yeah. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Tapos, uh, may mga time na isa pang racket ko is yung kaibigan ko. So, so since nga, electronics engineering yung background ko, yung friend ko, uh, kinuha siya ng school to be a consultant nung team nila for robotics. Eh, kaya nga lang nag-work na siya, ba diba? So, parang uh, hindi na siya, wala na siyang access na sa mga bilihan ng gamit ng mga supplies for electronics sa Manila. Eh, nag-aaral pa ako na time sa Mapua. So, yung mga uh, Dico, Alexan, sa Raon, tapos yung Gizmo sa Maylasal. So, may access ako doon. And since familiar na ako sa mga gamit, madali ko siya natutulungan if meron siyang kailangan na gamit para doon sa supply ng mga tinuturuan niyang ano, mga, mga schools noon as, as, as an advisor for their uh, robotics project. Tapos isa pa yung mga chupet-chupet na mga lagay mo sa mga business ng kaibigan mo na may uh, maliit na interest. So yun, medyo nakatulong din yun. Okay, last question. This is from an Instagram DM that I received and she wants to be anonymous kasi. So it's fine, no big deal. Again, thank you for the question. So ito yung question niya. What's your advice for people or maybe it's just me who aren't comfortable getting close with others but hates feeling lonely as fuck? Like I built these walls around me so high that I don't know if I'll ever get out of it pa. OMG, too much information. LOL face. I just wanna know the point of view of someone who doesn't know me personally. Funny, I know condescending idea na you don't wanna be lonely but ayaw mo din maging close sa iba. So, okay lang yan. Ginsan ganyan talaga. So, uh, since you're asking yung point of view ko, so ito yung answer ko dito. Uh, find your trigger. So, let me tell a story muna about triggers. So, una narinig ko to sa Spotify, sa podcast ni Jim Bakaro. So, that's Finding Happy with the Happy Dad Show. So, si Jim Bakaro yung host noon. So, yung question, sa, yung question kasi sa kanya noon is, um, I'm not happy sa work ko na, should I resign? Uh, tapos, ang sinagot niya noon muna is, preno ka muna, find your triggers. Kasi, ganito, uh, 
alam mo yun, uh, yung triggers kasi pwede mong sabihin uh, ano ba yung nagpapa-unhappy sa'yo sa work mo. Is it yung sweldo, yung katrabaho, yung boss mo, are you unfulfilled ba dun sa uh, job mo? So, ayun, hanapin mo muna kung ano yung trigger ng unhappiness mo kasi once kahit ko na hindi mo alam yung triggers mo lumipat ka ng job mo tapos na, na ano na, nalungkot ka na naman anong gagawin mo kasi alam mo lalabas at lalabas yun sa sa ibang job mo kung hindi mo alam yung triggers mo kahit na mag-resign ka diyan kung unhappy ka o hindi mo alam kung bakit ka unhappy wala mang sama lang pag lumipat ka sa next job mo nagiging unhappy ka din so it's better to find yung triggers mo muna. Once sa alam mo na yung mga triggers mo, then find your way around it. Now, going back dito sa original question sa akin. So, uh, nabasa ko kasi before sa comment mo na meron ka namang friends. So, find your triggers. What do I mean? Find mo yung traits ng mga friends mo na why they pass through dun sa wall na nabuild mo sa sarili mo. Kasi may friends ka naman eh. So, ibig sabihin, may something sa kanila na traits nila siguro or characteristic na uh, nakapag-pass through dun sa wall mo. And then, tingnan mo din yung mga, mga uh, people that you try to work yung friendship nyo pero hindi, hindi sila nakapasa dun sa wall parang oh they're blocked diba? they're blocked through dun sa wall so find yung mga traits or yung triggers or characteristics na nakapasa dun sa wall mo and yung hindi nakapasa through dun sa wall mo and find more people na alam mo yun, yung may mga traits or characteristics or trigger na nakapagpasa through dun sa wall mo so alam mo yun, parang build Eh, find your tribe nga, eh, diba? So, yun yung tribe mo and at least doon since, ah, uh, alam mo yun, okay ka sa kanila, kampante ka sa kanila. So, tinan mo yung mga traits, characteristics nila and find more people na kagaya nila so that you won't feel lonely na. Alright, that's it for this Q&A episode. I hope sagot ko yung mga tanong ng mga nagtanong ng maayos and, ah, uh, parang satisfied kayo sa mga sagot ko. So, yun, ah, uh, let me know in the comment section if you like uh, more Q&A videos sa kagaya nito. And uh, actually, uh, gagawa pala ako ng Jex Q&A Bank. So, it's, it's just a Google form. So, mag-enter lang kayo doon ng mga tanong nyo. Uh, I'll link it down below. Tapos, hindi siya kukuha ng data sa inyo. So, kailan lang nun is yung question. So, pwede kayo mag-alagay ng response nyo doon. So, yun. At least doon, para makakaipon ako ng mga interesting questions pagka kailan ko ng tanong for Q&A. So, yun. Let me give me some feedback about dito. Plus, uh, let me know din ng mga... Uh, types ng mga videos na gusto nyong gawin ko cause I'm running out of ideas ng mga videos na parang alam ko na interested kayo cause parang feeling ko na, na sabi ko na lahat ng mga thoughts and ideas na alam ko especially about personal finance so yun, uh, yun lang uh, I hope you enjoy watching this video uh, yun, please leave some question sa Q&A form na gagawin ko so it's uh, Google Forms so yun lang, I hope you have a wonderful day and yun, hope you enjoy this video bye, see you next video